What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gear with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because once again, we're going to be playing around with my new favorite deck, which is Corsair, which I'm really excited about because you can see right here, my Cors Corsair is only level 9. Okay, I think that's pretty under leveled and it's actually working decently well on the ladder. I made this video yesterday on this deck and I was mentioning how I wanted to show you guys the talents that I have on my talented cards cauldron as well as reaper i never ended up doing that i forgot to do so so we're going to kick the video off showing off the talents here today we've got left left right middle obviously middle you can there's no other options for middle for cauldron mana elixir cooling potion cooling potion is the one that's really uh, important to me it just adds a little bit extra slow there overflow when generates mana the cauldron has a five percent chance of creating an elixir and then growth which is the one where Sometimes when you get an elixir in another unit, it has a chance of leveling that unit up. For Reaper, we're actually really close to getting our Reaper to max. We've got 65,000 gold, so we already have the right amount of gold. And we've got 600 Dark Domain uh, Faction Cores, which I think is pretty good. And for the Talents, we've got Spirit of Light. This one you can kind of choose between which one you want. Um, do, do you think you're going to run into more Light? Um, light faction units on the ladder or are you going to run into more darkness uh faction units i'm going light uh maximum gain here and then grim harvest after an instant kill the attack has a 25 percent chance to hit all targets in a small radius with an instant kill it, you've actually i've seen it a bunch of times it's super super useful to uh to have that one active and let's jump into a game and see if we can find a couple of wins I love the fact that we are playing Corsair and having a little bit of luck here, and I love the fact that this week the the meta is all over the place. We're playing against Tesla consistently, Robot consistently. Actually, I haven't played any Robot today. Let's see if we play a Robot. Uh, Demon Hunter, we're playing against Demon Hunter still. We're playing against Corsairs. We're playing against Inquisitors. We're still playing against Shamans. We're playing against so many different things. My man's waving at me. What up, dude? If you recognize me, welcome to the video, my friend. I'm going to hit him with a good luck as well. And let's see how we do right off the bat. I'm being super greedy where I'm uh, leveling up my cauldron ASAP. And, uh, and hopefully it'll be A-OK. -okay. But I'm curious. Let me know, guys, in the comments. Let me know. What decks are you guys playing playing against the most? And which what deck is your favorite to play with the most right now? Because this is definitely it. This is definitely the first time I've ever played this exact deck on the ladder, especially consistently. There's no way I've been playing this cons consistently. So so I'm I'm just enjoying it. I'm along for the ride. I know if I play up against like higher level opponents, you know, I'm not always gonna be able to compete, but Boy, am I enjoying being able to play Corsair with at least just a little bit of, of, a, of a success rate. But guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also share the channel with your friends. Whether they play the game, don't play the game, watch the channel, don't watch the channel. If you think they would enjoy the content, share it with them because it enables me to continue making the content that you guys enjoy so much and... It continues to grow that Rush Royale community so the devs pay a little bit more attention and can keep catering to our wishes. I'm just trying to find more um, cauldrons at the moment. He hit me with a good luck right early on. Maybe he's a uh, just a nice person, but maybe he is very confident in his abilities. So we're going to have to see which one is which. And finally, we got a rank 2 cauldron. Now we can start spamming some mana here. And, uh, and that'll be really great. Tamer, again, Tamer's one of those bosses that I don't really care that much about. We've got a bird who wants to be in the video. Bird, shut up. <laughs> I'm assuming you can hear him, but pretty funny. Is what it is. All right, we've got a max cauldron. We're chilling. 50 to go through. Like, these bosses that don't hurt you but take a minute to kill are perfect because with cauldron, we're just going to keep... Stacking mana, stacking mana, stacking mana. Uh, same thing with Virus. Virus I'm not too worried about, especially early on in the game. Late game, Virus actually hurts us pretty bad because it affects the attack speed of our Corsairs. And if we're not throwing bombs, we're not killing anything. Boy, boy, if you don't... What are you doing? Relax over there. He wants to be in the video. He's like, Corsair stinks, you should stop playing it. No, it's good. 
Let's keep on going here. I'm watching how he's playing it. Does he have... He has a fancy... Um, he's actually got a different colored gadget square on his board. I think his gadget was only level 3. But he might have the legendary um, equipment for it. Which would be really, really cool. And I would be extremely jealous. This, this stinking bird needs to go away. <laughs> Pretty funny. At least he's got no... We've got no debuff squares that we're dealing with. Virus in 40 seconds. Everything is maxed on our board already. He's got his uh, Demon Hunter to max also. And I'm interested. So he's getting his to rank 3. He's going to get his to rank 4, I'm assuming. I don't know how this game goes. I don't know if we win this game, lose this game. Either way, I'm, I'm in it for the ride. And it should be a little bit of fun. Let's hit our... Let's hit our gadget as soon as we can. See, ours is like a, a bluish. His are like a grayish. And I just found out that recently from somebody. I forget who it is. Shout out to whoever it was. Who was it? It was somebody on stream on Friday. Um, mentioned that if you see a little bit different of a shade of color of the gadget tiles, it's because they have the, the talent. I wish I could click on it and see his equipment, but it is what it is. So he took that out real quick. Uh, he merged it out real quick as well. Let's try our best to merge out what we can. Just because I really don't want to deal with virus. So we are going to have to deal with virus at least a little bit. Um, but not necessarily the end of the world. So let's just chill with this board. I'm going to try and be really conscious of if our virus is still on our board. We got hit with virus right here. So hopefully it just does like one complete cycle and then just gets the heck off my board. Because I don't want to deal with so so much. And, and we need that attack speed from our Corsair. That's like the most important thing. Damage is great and all, but attack speed for Corsair is just massively important because it is, remember, it's a percentage uh, damage. It's not an actual numeric damage. It's a percent damage. So so here we go. We're going to be, we're going to have to combine out somewhere here to where is that our only executioner? Is that why we're doing so poorly? I'm just going to do that. Are we 35 seconds? I'm going to have to do some stuff here. I'm going to have to merge and do things because we're having a little bit of a hard time. Puppeteer is not great for us right there. As long as we can take out everything and just survive, I'm happy. But Puppeteer is going to hit us hard and uh, and definitely going to rank us down. We still are dealing with Virus. 17 seconds, 16 seconds. But that's kind of what Corsair does. We're just going to kind of hang around. We're that, we're that uh, nuisance that just kind of hangs around. And then hopefully at the end of the game, we can just kind of sneak by and, and and get the dub. That's, that's all I want. Not necessarily going to happen, but that's... <laughs> that's the way it goes so we're still dealing with virus here is it almost gone we've got two units with virus this guy's got virus and this guy's got virus puppeteer is going to rank us down a bunch of times but we do have 10,000 mana so it kind of is what it is 700 to go through 600 500 keep on going baby executioner do your worst it's going to move us around. That's okay. Executioner, don't let it hit us again. It let us hit again. Okay. So we can max everything back out. 6,800. I think at this point we can probably just start um, merging out our cauldrons. I'm going to hit my gadget right off the bat. Another tamer is fine by me. Let's wait until we see a mini boss, and then I'm going to combine out cauldrons because it does do a little damage, do a little slow. Make, you know, have a little fun, make a little noise, get down tonight. You know that song. Okay, so let's just keep on going. I'm actually going to do this as well, see what we get. It's fine by me. We also didn't level up our cauldron again. And I think it's getting towards a little bit later in the game now to where we might not need to. So 20 seconds. He's having a little bit of trouble right here. And this is the part of the game here that, like, if we run into a bedlam anytime soon, that's a dub. That's a dub. Because we do so well against Bedlams by just slowing everything, cauldroning it out, doing all that. Um, and he would get totally uh, discombobulated with, 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 a, with a Bedlam attack. So 3 mil against Tamer. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I might do a little bit of something-something here just to try and help the uh, help the issue here i'll combine out here we'll combine out here i'm just gonna do that honestly we know a little rank four reaper don't mind 1.4 we've got some high level reapers 
Uh, after we kill this boss, we're going to rank up our Corsairs, too. So that's really good. So we got two rank... We've got, what, four rank four Corsairs. I'm actually going to merge this out. And we're going to start merging out some of these uh, Executioners. Or I thought we were going to, but apparently we were not going to. Do we have any other... Am I kind of gridlocked here? I'm a little bit gridlocked here. Um, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. Vortex can be a little bit scary. They're steaming around our board, but they're steaming around his board as well. And hopefully we can survive this. We're trying to go through all this right now. We are going to take out that Vortex. He's got to take out a Banner Lord. I don't know if we have our active ability yet on Gadget, but if we do, that would be amazing. We do. That's such a clutch time to get our active ability for for gadget we're trying to take out our our banner lord right there we were able to take it out this is so close 12 seconds to go 10 9 8 vortex is steaming around the board we're taking that and there is a victory hit him with a good game that's exactly what this deck does okay he hit me with a good game this dude was a wicked good sport uh war and peace all right uh, mamas what up mamas but let's check out his equipment. So that is what I'm talking about. This is the legendary item specific to Gadget, and that's why that was a little bit different on his on his tiles. Increases the damage of the hero Gadget's main ability and increases the activation chance of Eternal Engine, which is the gold tiles. I don't think he ended up getting any gold tiles, um, so nothing really bonus right there. So all, all it did was extra damage for his actual gadget, which I don't even know if he got to or not. Decent equipment. Other than that, nothing too crazy. 1946 crit. Um, level 11 Demon Hunter is actually pretty solid. And uh, and yeah, I think that was a pretty straightforward game. I think that's exactly the type of game that we play Corsair for. And we actually came out on top, and that was really, really fun. And I'm glad that I'm able to share these types of games with you guys, because that's why I'm absolutely loving this deck. I can't always share the videos that I want to, just because sometimes the games go awry, sometimes I just play against a Shaman and it only makes it three waves. But that's a perfect game to show you guys what this deck can do. But let's jump into another game here. And guys, if you want to catch me live, I do live stream. We live stream exclusively on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash gamebytheBeach. We'd absolutely love to have you guys come on by, okay? We live stream on Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as well as Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we're tabling that for right now. Now we're going up against Rogue Hex, 2,500 crit. I didn't look at his gadget level for some reason because I'm blind. But yeah, guys, you can play with me, you can play against me. would absolutely love to have you guys come by. If you need help with dungeons, either I can help you out with dungeons while I dig stuff out of my eye, or somebody on stream can help you out who maybe is even better suited. But let's go. Let's hit my man with a good luck here. I never really know if good luck seems genuine or not. We're getting hit with the lag cheese right now. Um, so maybe I should have just hit him with the mallard, but maybe the mallard is also not. <laughs> doesn't look very genuine. So let's just see what we can do and, uh, and start this game off strong. Guys, if you have any suggestions on how to make this deck better, uh, I'm interested. Okay, I think at one point I had Mime in here or Dryad in here or something else in here other than Reaper. It couldn't have been Mime. Summoner maybe? Yeah, it must have been Summoner. Something like that. But let's just keep on leveling up our cauldrons, and uh, and I'm interested to see how this guy's gonna do. I think if we're if he plays Rogue Hex correctly, and he plays it and and has a bit of luck, but a bit of luck, um, it could be a little bit scary. It could be a little bit scary, but even if he's playing it perfectly, he's gonna fall off against bosses just because of Rogue is just not that strong against bosses and it kind of is what it is we actually first time we're playing up against assassin as a boss in at least a handful of videos so that should be a little bit interesting but let's just keep playing it normally i really wish there was a way to see where assassin is going to drop its you know take away whatever unit because i would love to merge it kind of like warlock comes down i'd love to merge it and be able to protect units or whatever but we don't always have that opportunity that bird finally shut up and now there's trucks <laughs> it's a forest out here we're gonna hit our corsair we've got some cauldrons all right so with zero seconds to go i'm just gonna merge this guy out here i'm gonna do that try and push the issue a little bit hit that corsair that's not a big deal take him out okay 
So we were able to take all that stuff out. I'm just gonna merge this guy here. I'm gonna do another cauldron. Let's do our reaper, cause I feel bad. And so far so good. I'm liking the way this, this deck is, this board, this game, this everything is progressing. I like how it's going. Let's get one more unit on our board. We'll combine that out as well. A gecko literally just fell from the sky. Gecko, come here. Literally fell from the sky, and there he is, dropped in like a like a meteor's meteorite. That's what it looked like. Let's keep leveling our stuff up here. Keep on doing our gadget. I feel like I really enjoy decks where there's different phases. There's the phase in this deck of mana buildup, cauldrons, spamming cauldrons. You're just preparing your gadget, getting your gadget ready. And then there's the phase of, all right, find as many Corsairs as you can, merge out your, your cauldrons, spam out your gadget. I like when there's different phases like that. It really makes it kind of fun. Like in this, this game that he's playing, a little bit phases in Rogue 2. I think the fact that you can dig for Shinobis as well as the fact if you level up a Shinobi, it does that active ability and has so much more damage. I think that's really fun. But for the most part, all he's trying to do is get a high level Hex next to high level rogues and that's pretty much it right so but it's a cool deck and i've seen this deck played a handful of times with jay for the same reason i was thinking for corsair to where you have the extra uh, attack speed tiles but he's got gadget in there it's a 2500 crit guy uh so i'm i'm assuming he's got at least a decent level gadget and uh and this is going to be a little bit tough we're going up against warlock right here so let's see what we can do i'm going to merge out some cauldrons just to try and boost a little bit of damage here i guess i'll merge that out that's kind of sad though um i'm just gonna merge these guys let's do that as well do a little bit more damage come on go through him 300 to go through and we took that out so now we have a rank four harlequin and really nothing else to do with it so let's try and dig for some stuff we got a rank four here huh we're gonna do that I'm gonna combine these out, rank three. Ooh, we can do this. Give me a course there. That would be amazing. Ah. Uh, so you know what? Let's actually just do this. What the heck? We've got other. Ah, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Let's just do that. Let's uh, let's wait a second. We do have tribunal next. So we're gonna have to uh, just be a little bit prepared for that. We're gonna take a hit no matter what. Um, but maybe we can merge out a couple of things before tribunal comes, and that would be pretty good. It's gonna be an interesting game, this one, because the entire time it's going to look like we're losing and we may lose we very well may lose but we're going to definitely look like we're going to lose the entire game and then late game hex kind of falls off well maybe it's not even hex rogue kind of falls off because hex is actually great he disconnected reconnected what are we doing here what are we doing um five thousand mana right here we're still killing things relatively quickly the fact that we have a rank five executioner i actually don't really mind that much um but it's not the best thing in the world, you know, it's, there's not a whole lot of reason to have it. But we don't really have that high level of Corsairs. We had two rank 3 Corsairs, I merged both of them out, both of them out because they would have gotten hit by Warlock. So, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it wasn't the best thing in the world because we would have at least kept one. So I'm just going to merge these guys. Uh, I guess that's the only thing I'm going to do. But we got mana to fill. We're going to go here, we're going to go here. And, uh, and that's not bad. Now we should get at least one rank four. I'm going to do this as well, actually. We should get at least one rank four Corsair. I'm going to merge this guy out and that guy out because now we'll definitely get a rank. Yeah, we got one rank four, which is good. I'm going to spam. I'm going to wait to spam until at least there's a monsters on the board just in case we get a cauldron. There we go. It didn't matter at all. And let's try and dig for a higher level Reaper. That's kind of what my next goal is going to be. I'm going to do this. Uh, we finally got a rank 2 Reaper. Let's do this as well. He's still killing things so incredibly fast. Rank 3 Executioner right there. I'm actually going to copy the Executioner and combine it out. Rank 4 Reaper I think is going to be massively helpful. And we've got Puppeteer once again. Let's just do Cauldron. Try and slow everything down. 26 seconds. We're still just hanging in there. His board looks good. He's got, oh my gosh, he's got 1, 2, Three, four, five, six shinobis, almost all of which are on hexes. Everybody except this uh, this guy, but he could have moved that one over, but he didn't. And we're just holding on. He hasn't moved a muscle 
from the beginning of his portal, from the front top beginning of his, I guess beginning of his portal is the right way to go. Um, 2.9 to go through. I'm going to combine these guys out here because it's going to do a little bit of slow. I'm going to combine this out here. Um, and I, and we should be fine. 6,000 mana to go through, 2.5 that we got to take out. And yeah, let's just sit back, have some coffee. We should be able to take this guy out. I don't know where we're at in my gadget. We're going to find out shortly. Okay, so that was the last one. That's not too bad. He's ranking me down completely, but that's, again, okay. And we should take it out before it ranks us down to rank one. You would hope. Okay. All right, we got some mana. Do we have any rank five? We do have a rank five Corsair. That's good. We've got some cauldrons hanging out. Assassin. I'm just waiting for the moment where his rogue falls off a little bit. It has not happened at all yet but it's got to happen at some point let's just do this to get our uh everybody on that a little slowed down a little bit let's do that another corsair i'm going to do this we do have a rank four um a rank four reaper so i think he should be doing some pretty good damage right there 27 seconds we're trying to hold on here we do have our active ability 20 seconds it's a long time to hold on we're gonna hit it right there i think that's a perfect time for this but assassin is gonna be brutal if this was bedlam if this was tamer if this was any of those i think we would have be in a really good position but assassin's pretty ugly that's that's not a great option for us i think five seconds i don't even know if we can survive this one second so at least Assassin's going to hit him a couple times. It's actually 8.5 versus 9.5. So we're going to take a couple of hits here. I am not going to um, get a Cauldron on my board because, well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. We, we might be able to take this out. 3.8. Just don't hit anything that's wicked bad. He hit my rank 4 right there. At least he didn't eliminate my rank 5. He... He hit my rank 5 and ranked it down to rank 4, but at least he didn't eliminate my rank 5. So our board's still looking pretty good. He got ranked down a couple of times. He definitely should le level up his hex, don't you think? There he goes. Rank 3 right there. His rogue is doing great, so we got to survive this wave. I'm going to hit my gadget ability right there, see if we can just push the issue a bit. Um, and maybe we should combine out a little bit just to get a little extra slow. That might be a good idea if we can find some slow. Merge out these guys, merge out these guys, merge out those guys, cauldron, there we go. 25 seconds, again, we're right back to exactly where we were in the last wave, where it's super, super sketchy, but as long as we keep surviving, 15 seconds, oh my gosh, Vortex is steaming around the board, 12 seconds to go here, we're trying to survive all this madness, I think we're going to lose here. Oh, we took a hit. And there is an L. Hit him with a good game. Very well played by my man. Only a level 5 gadget. Nothing too crazy with uh, with equipment. Um, we'll check out his cards. His card, don't, it doesn't really matter. Level 9 hex as well as a level, uh, at obviously a max rogue. But gosh, wow. I can't believe we actually lost that right there. Very, very surprised. GG to him, even though he didn't say anything back. Pumbaa, well played. Well played. Pretty fun. Equal crit. Equal game is what it is but guys that is going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video